Okay. Hello, I'm Mashkor. So usually I will introduce myself as Mick because majority of Koreans find some difficulties to remember my uh, original name. So um, I'm from Uzbekistan and I'm 26 years old by international age because Koreans said one more age for every 24 years. So um, I have been living for three years in Korea and I'm uh, right now working in IT company since I graduated uh, university here. So uh, truly I am enjoying the Korean lifestyle. Um, before coming to Korea, I actually worked in Korean company and I had kind of different ideas about Koreans because every Korean said, uh, I mean every of my co-workers said me that uh, these two chopsticks you can't get satisfaction on foods so I was really wondering to eat some Korean foods after coming and through some TV programs especially uh, which demonstrates uh, Korean not only Korean culture but the foreign culture so I saw some guys uh, who eat uh, vivid crabs from the, directly from the sea so I, I was just wondering how to eat it after coming too so uh, after coming to Korea everything was okay for me because uh, as, as you know the, every Korean are different from each other and there, there are person, there are people who can eat the vivid crabs or vivid things and who cannot eat the vivid things. So that's why uh, I usually join the Korean uh, kind of parties who, or which organize in the seafood uh, stuffs. Uh, and also my second point is uh, my father told a lot of stories uh, when I was younger. And one story I precisely remember is uh, related with Koreans, especially uh, during the World War II, the Korean people are, were emigrated to the Russia and Russia sent them to Uzbekistan. And uh, they worked really hard in order to uh, make their, their life better. So after coming to Korea, uh, it's proved that every Korean people find a motivation to work really hard even during the whole night so that was uh, before coming my impression and after coming my impression how I changed it so Korean people are really nice uh, to go through their, their life um, while talking to Koreans uh, I mostly care about honorific form of language so when I first approach to some Korean, so I I'll, I always use kind of honorific form, kind of annyeonghashimika. It means good morning or good afternoon, sir. It's kind of honorific form of Korean language. And also one thing that uh, they always ask your age. It's the first time when you meet, and they use proper language form. So this is also one of important things uh, while you're talking with Koreans. And body language, I'm not sure uh, while you're talking to Koreans they take care of it or not, but uh, when you talk to older people, so you just cannot see their eyes directly. You, sh you should just, uh, how to say, break your eye, eye contact to them and then you just cope your mouth with your hand and you just show that you're carefully talking to them. So this is the, my first feeling when I meet the Koreans and which I'm keeping the way when I communicate with them. When I first time meet some Koreans, so when I speak in, Korean, in English, so I feel there is kind of barrier with them and they don't give me a chance to be close with them. So that's why it, it's the first time I came here, I decided to learn the Korean language because of knowing that barriers, to destroy that barriers. So, and I did. So, uh, instead to say some English words, I will say Korean first and I will ask some uh, help for example let's imagine I'm going on the street and I, I will just ask the 
about subway station in English in Korean. So, 100% of Koreans answer when I approach with Korean words. But 20% of them uh, can reply to my answer when I uh, speak in English. So, that's a, a difference when I talk in uh, the language. And, uh, but uh, learning Korean also was difficult for me. The first, first part of uh, difficulties is Nopunma. Uh, it's a kind of honorific form of language. For example, when I talk to my professors, or my professor, so I should always use kind of honorific form like Neoshimika and Moashimika, kind of Shimnika, it means it's, it's kind of honorific form of uh, language. But uh, there are, uh, what I cannot figure out is there are a lot of levels in Korean language. For example, when you talk with your clients, there's kind of Haseyo, Seyo kind of form. But while you're talking to youngers, so you just do mohe, it mean it's kind of friendly form of language. So the the difficult part for me was a uh, honorific form of language, which is uh, uh, most hard when you talk with elders, uh, and also kind of geruns and passive tense is also hard. Because uh, in Korea, for example, torochotta, torochida, there are full difference between these words. So I also I always confuse such words, and uh, I like really Korean proverbs, especially when they use, for example, mogi pajigi kidarada. That means you really waiting for something. And when I, when I say to them, for example, if the food is late, so I always walk it by the kid and then every Korean laughs. So <laughs> it's kind of funny for them and they really like it that when foreigners say. And also I, I just say that I lived in Jeju, so there are kind of dialects. It's kind of, when I, when I say them with dialect, they also find out that I uh, experience in Korea so much period and they really like that kind of awards and there is also one point that in Korea uh, it's not usual to eat alone so Koreans usually call ever, uh, ever friends and they don't usually eat alone so they, I don't know why but they usually don't be a target because all people are around in see the, him or her who is lunching alone and it's kind of strange for the who is eating, actually eater. So I would say that uh, the person who is gonna be in Korea should always get used to lunch with partners. Okay, Pajishasa Kamsamnida. Manegi Kojumal Hesasunyana Korean Korean Korean